All right, here's a fun short little topic I thought I'd share with you guys. And this is something that has saved me an awful lot of time. So let's say that there's something that you're doing in the terminal, but you don't want to have to keep typing repeated tasks over and over again. Or maybe there's some things that will provide a certain function that you will do in a terminal, but you can't always remember what the commands are. So one thing that you can do is make some aliases or shortcuts in the bash prompt. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. One thing I'd like to do is um, every now and then when I'm installing packages from the Arch user repository, okay, you know, there's a command string I have to type in when I want to clean orphan packages out of my system. Well, I have a command here that I can just type into the terminal, just type in clean. It will ask me for a password. And then it will check for any orphan packages. And then, of course, if it doesn't, it's going to give me an error. So I know I don't have any orphan packages that are lying around from after, you know, building a package from the Arch user repository. But there are other things that you could use, too. So let me uh, open up my bash prompt here. And uh, we'll go ahead and have a look at some aliases that I've already included in there. So let's go ahead here and uh, let's open up gedit. I'm going to tell it to open up my bash prompt, or back, dot .bash rc file. Okay, and that is a hidden file in your home directory. Okay, and you will see here at the bottom of the screen, let me uh, go ahead and uh, maybe uh, position this a little better so you can see what I've got going on here. And maybe even uh, apply some zoom effects to this. Okay, so here's an alias, clean equals, and then you'll put in quotation marks what command you want to issue. So when I just ran clean, as you saw on the screen, I have sudo pacman hyphen capital R small s dollar sign pacman dash capital Q lowercase q t d which basically tells it to search out and find and then remove all orphan packages on the system. You'll see I have this wrapped in quotation marks. Okay, I also like have a, have a command here for FFmpeg. So when I type in 3D into the terminal, if I have a 3D movie in the directory that I'm in, I'll basically tell FFmpeg uh, to take a video that is called in.mp4, apply a stereo 3D filter, which is a half left side by side, and convert it into an anaglyph so that I can watch on my home computer. How cool is that? So I have a command here that actually allows me to do that just by typing in 3D in the terminal. So let's go ahead and create a new one here that we can do, and then uh, we'll put it to the test. I'm going to create a new one, alias. And, hmm, what am I going to call this one? Let's call this one Spatry. Okay. And then I'm going to type in equals. And usually what I like to do is just put in two quotation marks and then just fill in uh, data in between them. And uh, let's think of a alias that we could put in. Okay, why not the simplest of all Linux commands out there? How about uname? dash r, which is going to tell me which version of uh, Linux that I'm currently running. Now, even though screen fetch already shows that on my uh, terminal screen, um, this is just an example. So you can use any normal command that you would issue in bash in this manner. So we're going to file and then save this. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize this here. And for this to work, I need to open up a new uh, a new shell. So I've got a new one open. Now when I type in spatry, and then press enter, 
it's telling me I'm running 3.11.1-1 Manharo. And so that is uh, the, the current kernel I'm running. So I hope you guys find this useful. So any of those commands you're finding yourself issue into the terminal on a regular basis using this little trick can certainly save you a little bit of time. Mm -hmm.